side of the cliff and shoots an arrow at the snake, but the arrow bounces off. Paul Wu then appears and heads towards Bisco. The pipe snake then appears and attacks, capturing Paul Wu. Milo uses Actavel to get on the snake and freeze her, telling Bisco to capture her as she falls. The snake then shoots out its tongue and captures Actagal. Milo then cuts one of Actagal with pincers in order to free him from the snake, but as they fall, the snake is about to eat him. Pawu and Bisco unite forces and Bisco attacks the snake and saves Milo. The other end of the snake, which is also a head, then eats Bisco and Milo, but they shoot out mushrooms inside of it, causing them to grow and burst out of the snake, killing it. Bisco then notices Russ eater mushrooms on the body of the snake, but feels something isn't right. He takes one and eats it, realizing its power to eat rust and its taste is no different than a Matsutik. Bisco states it seems they got the wrong one and wishes to continue looking for another snake, but Milo attempts to stop him as he is quite beat up and bleeding. Bisco refuses to stop and pushes back Milo, who as he falls on the ground, touches with his bloody hand the mushroom that Bisco ate and it started to glow and realizes something. Milo wishes to transfuse some blood to Bisco before revealing what he figured. Pawu guesses that the rust eater on the pipe snake awakens after contact with Mushroom Keeper's blood. Milo believes so too and once he transfuses some blood to Bisco, he wants to look at his blood. Pawu then notices ropes on the snake and Korokoa appears, stating he didn't expect Pawu to see the legendary rust eater while chasing Bisco. Bisco then shoots an arrow at Korokoa's aircraft and the mushrooms barely grow but die. Korokoa comments that even after all the antibacterial treatment, they almost bloom so they won't be able to take many shots. They start shooting at Bisco, who manages to dodge the bullets and take out one of the shooters, but Korokoa then shoots him with a rust bullet and flies off taking the snake. Polu decides to head back to Imanhama but doesn't want to take the cure now, stating she will take it if it works on Jabi. Paulu then approaches Bisco and offers him her medicine, stating that his wound will soon rust even more and he needs to protect Milo. Pablo reaches the Imahama watch at Shimabuki base. Korokawa appears and states he didn't expect her to be that fast in her condition and reveals he has Jabi. Later a broadcast from Korokawa starts and he plays a video for the criminals Bisco and Milo. Bisco returns to the shed, but feels that Milo isn't himself. He figures the broadcast must be related to Pawu and Shimabuki base and heads out. Milo then comes out and tells him not to go. Milo doesn't want to lose his friend and is prepared to do anything to stop him. He then shoots an arrow, but Bisco dodges it and punches Milo, who then headbutts Bisco. Milo then takes out a knife and Bisco knocks him, feeling he hit him too hard. Bisco checks on Milo, but Milo injects him with sleep shroom poison. While Korokoa plays a card game with some of his men, Milo shows up, causing Korokoa to state he was sick of waiting. Korokoa then states he will kill Pawu after one week unless he gives him the secret in Bisco. He calls his men to bring the rust eater mushrooms and Milo reveals that the mushroom is in dormant state and needs to be mixed with other ingredients to awaken. As he demonstrates, white spores come out and Korokoa realizes he is using mushroom control. Spores then obstruct the vision of everyone and numshroom spores put them to sleep. Milo disarms him and slices him with his knife. Milo then reveals his blade was coated with numbing poison and unless he releases Pawu and Jabi, he won't treat him. However, Korokoa uses a hidden bow in his arm to shoot Milo. Korokoa then injects himself with Numtrum Antidote. Milo attempts to attack him, but freezes. Korokoa reveals he is former Mushroom Keeper and used Puppetrum on Milo. While the mushroom spreads its roots throughout someone's body, Korokoa can use an implanted chip in his brain to control the person. Korokoa reveals he has no interest in the effects of the Rust Eater, but wishes to monopolize it. Currently, the government and Korokoa are making money from the medicine that helps with rusting. But with the new medicine, he could become even more powerful than the central government. Milo still refuses to reveal the secret. Korokoa decides to kill him, but in that moment, Bisco arrives and stops Korokoa. Jabi is acting crazy in his cell, wanting his food. As the guard gives him and receives a phone call, Jabi uses it along with other ingredients to grow mushrooms and free himself from his cell. Facing Bisco, Korokoa reveals that he is the reason the mushroom keepers are being persecuted. He was the one who spread the superstition that the mushroom keepers are spreading rust and then sold out every mushroom keeper to earn money. Bisco is happy to learn this as he almost took revenge without even realizing it. Korokoa gets angry, but before he could use his bow, Bisco blows up his prosthetic arm. Milo then warns Bisco to dodge it, but before Bisco realizes what is going on, he gets hit by Milo's arrow under Korokoa's control, injecting him with rust. Korokoa then makes Milo shoot another arrow, while Milo asks him to stop. Korokoa states the next arrow will go in Bisco's head unless Milo reveals the secret of the rust eater. Having no choice, Milo reveals it's the Mushroom Keeper's blood. 
Korokawa thanks him, but states that he cannot let them go as they will hunt and kill him. Moment before Milo shoots an arrow at Bisco's head, he notices the confidence in Bisco's eyes and as he shoots, Bisco captures the arrow with his teeth and throws it back at Korokawa, injuring his right eye. Jabby then comes and uses an arrow to grow a mushroom and smash Korokawa at the roof. Jabby then injects Milo with an antidote and reveals he already saved Pawu. Due to Bisco's injuries, he can't stand and Jabby tells Milo to take Bisco and escape while he stays in fights. Jabby starts fighting them, but an injury from earlier distracts him and he ends up caught in a net. Kornikawa's pawns catch up to Milo and Bisco and shoot multiple rust arrows at Milo's back. Aktagawe appears and defeats the pawns. Barely conscious and heavily injured, Milo tells Bisco to not die. Milo wakes up from a nightmare where he couldn't reach his friends. Bisco had bandaged his wounds, but his rusting is spreading. As Milo's eyes are bandaged too, Bisco states he managed to steal some rust eater from Korokawa and had mixed a medicine and wants to inject Milo with it. While in reality it's the medicine that Pawu gave him. Milo tells Bisco to first take care of himself, but Bisco lies to him that he had already injected himself. When Milo falls asleep, Bisco takes Aktagawa and heads towards Korokawa. Meanwhile, Pawu sees Korokawa's special forces in government forces truck heading towards Korokawa. A Japanese government forces Meiji base, Shiabi sees Korokawa is boiling down Russ and realizes he plans on artificially creating the Russ wind. Korokawa states there used to be giant weapon that covered Japan in Russ and had Rust reactor within its body, able to generate unlimited amount of rust. Korokawa then shows he has the Tetsujin, stating there are five of them in Japan, or six by some theories, but this Tetsujin is one of the few still functioning ones. Korokawa intends to turn concentrated rust into rust bullets and fire them out of a Ganesha cannon, creating rust wind. Korokawa prepares to shoot him, but one of his men starts beating Jabi. Korokawa then lowers his gun and gives a knife to his man, telling him to cut his fingers so that Jabi won't be able to use a bow again. Instead, the man ends up freeing Jabi and stabs Korokawa in the foot. Korokawa removes his man's mask, revealing it's Bisco, who then throws Korokawa four below him. Bisco states he will take care of Korokawa, while Jabi must destroy the Ganesha cannon. Korokawa orders his men to bring a certain thing, no matter it's not ready. Outside, Jabi encounters a gorilla, but Pawu comes and defeats it with a single hit. Bisco joins Korokawa and starts fighting him. Korokawa manages to shoot him and injure his eye. A large man then comes with a big gun and mushroom growing from his back. Korokawa orders him to kill Bisco. Bisco shoots at Korokawa but misses due to his fingers shattering from the rust. Korokawa starts mocking him he cannot use a bow anymore, but Bisco closes the distance and punches him, stating he doesn't need a bow to kill him. Korokawa starts running scared from Bisco. He shoots him a few times, but Bisco still comes after him and punches him, shattering his own arm. 